Back in January, AFC Totten won five games in a row as they looked to make a serious charge for the playoff places. However, seven games without a win since January 24th has put to bed any promotion hopes that they may have had. With the club languishing in mid-table, Totten manager Steve Riley says promotion was too big an expectation. I said after, after the five victories in January, I said the next five matches will tell where we are as a club. And we're, we're sort of in the mid-table area and um, I think people were sort of maybe got a bit carried away when we won five on the bounce, think we're going to be in the playoffs. And it didn't get any better for Totten as they hosted top of the table, Merthyr Town. The Stags went 1-0 down after Ian Trader's effort from around 20 yards out took a slight deflection off the head of Ryan Prosser, wrong foot in the keeper. Prosser's goal certainly leaving the away fans delighted. Merthyr doubled their lead through Prosser's own hard work, cutting inside after a storming run before shooting low into the bottom corner of the goal, leaving the home side with a lot of work to do. A few minutes before half-time, Prosser continued his impressive performance with an assist for Kane McLaggen, who could hardly miss from eight yards out, a goal which made Totten's comeback a near impossible task. In the second half, the Stags did give themselves a glimmer of hope when Liam Gilbert whipped a free kick into the box and Ellis White got the better of goalkeeper Tom Bradley to make it a slightly more respectable scoreline. The two-goal deficit was short-lived though, as Ian Trailer powered past Jamie Blackburn to fire a powerful shot beyond Patrick O'Flaherty. The away side then rubbed salt into the Totten's wounds when a long ball over the top was met with a mixture of poor defending and a great sense of urgency by Corey Jenkins to lob the ball over O'Flaherty and end a very disappointing afternoon for AFC Totten. It's now five losses in a row for AFC Totten with their last four coming against the division's top four sides. Elliot Buckley, Winchester News Online.